Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna fit a function to our dataset in MATLAB. Here is the general formula for polynomial regression. Y's are the output, X's are input, and the thetas are the coefficients that we are gonna find to create the polynomial function. Now we are going to use MATLAB in order to find the coefficient matrix. Let's create a function. Outputs are coefficient function itself. And give it a name. My fit function. Inputs are x, y and n. Now we are going to create a matrix that all the elements are 1, length x, n plus 1. In order to calculate the multiplication here, x to the power of 1, x to the power of 2, and up to x to the power of n, we are going to create a for loop here. The j starts from n and up to 1. x Now we are going to find the coefficient matrix, coefficient equals to x transpose multiplied by x backslash x transpose multiply by y. In MATLAB, in order to find the x in the following equation, ax equals to b, we use backslash here. Now we find the coefficient matrix and it's in the column vector format. We should change it to the row vector format by applying transpose operation. And we are going to create the function by using the coefficients and poly to sum function in MATLAB. MATLAB function. Now we are done with calculations and we are gonna plot input output and polynomial regression. Hold on. Input and output x and y z plot function x ranges are the minimum of x minus 5 maximum of x plus 5 y ranges are minimum of y minus 5 maximum of y plus 5 x label input y label output Title is my regression model, and the legend is given data and list. 
software regression. Now we are done, let's test our program. Imagine that we have some input and outputs x and y. Now we are gonna use our function in order to find the polynomial regression. Uh, we have made a mistake here. We should change this to symbolic. Now let's run it again. Now let's run it again. Here you can see that we have found the function that passes through the data and the polynomial degree is 2. Now if you want to change the polynomial degree, you just need to change the n from 2 to 1. Now we have the linear regression to our data. If you want to change it again, for example, let's say have the let's have the eighth degree of polynomial the blue function is the eighth degree of regression model however this is not a perfect match because the variation is too much in this case now let's select the linear regression now let's use our function and we are gonna get a output for the given input consider that the input is 3.5 function 3.5 and we will get the output we give the function 3.5 and we get almost 4 in the output Thanks for watching this video guys, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.